and welcome back to my channel. As always, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the Pink Squad. Now, you're probably like, where are her hands? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> I got the nails done, and guess what? Clickety, clickety, clack. The bad B is back. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my gosh I'm so excited to show you guys are you ready are you ready because my nail girly really just she did an amazing job you guys I just cannot with her I absolutely love her like we even had like great conversation too and I was just like girl me and you me and you were meant to be so i am so 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 excited to show you guys so here we go here they are look at the nails look at the nails you guys we got classy you know we got classy vibes we got fall vibes because that's a pumpkin, that is a glitter pumpkin. And you know, we have fancy with the glitter nail. Ugh, I am obsessed. Like I seriously just, I cannot stop looking at my hands. Like, ugh, I love her, I love her, I love my nails. I have my next appointment. Actually, I have my next two appointments, y'all, already booked put my deposit down, whole shebang, like, I am so ready, the next nails will be the Christmas nails, what am I gonna do, who knows, but I got three weeks to figure it out, so, that is that, second thing, can we talk about the fact that it is going to be Thanksgiving next week, like, excuse me, what even is that, what are you talking about, like, how did we get here, I cannot believe that it is literally Thanksgiving. Like, let that sink in. It's Thanksgiving next week. Like, it is the actual Thanksgiving. So, with that, <laughs> I am going to be budgeting for paycheck number two in this video and i am posting this a little earlier than i would in terms of my payment schedule but next week is thanksgiving y'all so it we it's just i'm like what else am i gonna film <laughs> no but in all seriousness like i'm going to a book record so that's why it'll be a little bit earlier but that's totally fine um because it's Thanksgiving and then I asked for the day after Thanksgiving off because I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up and I'm so so excited if you guys want to see it let me know I love Christmas I'm trying to think what else have I had in my life I still haven't seen the new Wakanda movie so my plan is to do that next week too we, we have a lot. We have a lot coming up. We have a lot of exciting things, you know. It's it's all happening so quickly, and I'm trying to stay on top of it. So, but for now, let's just budget paycheck number two. And I have, oh, okay, question. <laughs> so, I buy a ton of stuff on Amazon, but it's not all budgeting related. But like I'll get some really really cute things, and I'm like, oh, I would like I want to show them. Like, would you guys like to see that, or like, should it be like on Instagram? Do you think I should put it on TikTok? Like, let me know what you guys think. But there is a lot of cute things that I find on Amazon that I want to show you guys. But I know it's not budgeting related. <laughs> Anyways, we put the pink pens in a container so that we can have all the pink at my disposal and i think i'm missing i'm missing three other pink pens <laughs> but we're going to use this one today 
Okay, so this is going to be for eleven twenty-five. Because again, we are planning a little bit early. And then this is paycheck number two. And it is for $1,896. I zoomed you guys in a little bit because I don't think you could see. So for fixed expenses, that is bills, that is the important stuff, and that is what we are going to do first. So we have State Farm, and that is 285. And then we have Apple for four dollars. And then we have another Apple for four dollars and yes I write them separately <laughs> and then I have Cricut if you can hear my neighbor's dog I'm really sorry and then we have Canva so for Cricut we're gonna put 22 and then for Canva we are going to put 26 now that is not actually what the subscription is worth. That's two months worth. Um, just because of how my payment coincided, I needed to have two worth, two months worth <laughs> to put away. So, okay. And I think that is it. So let's add this up. So we have 285 plus eight plus 22 plus 26. And that is 341. And then we are going to subtract that from what we are stuffing. And that is $1,555. And then we are going to do my variable expenses. So that is things like food, gas, and all of that fun stuff. Gas has gone down in my area but I am not hopeful because that's what happened last week it went down and then it went back up so <laughs> I just don't even look at it anymore and then food food is going to be a hundred dollars and then lottery because we can't win if we don't play and that's gonna be two dollars and then my nails is going to be 35 so that's 200 235 237 dollars and then i'm going to subtract that from what we have left and that is 1318 dollars we've taken care of business we've taken care of our needs not our wants now you might say judith <laughs> why is nails over here <laughs> that's because it is important to me and that's that so it also feels weird honestly writing it in my sinking fund section because it's more so like a revolving sinking fund like i stuff it and then i use it so i don't know that's why i put it up here but into savings we are going to put $718 and then we are going to put this, I don't actually have an envelope for it, but I'm going to call it AC and I'm going to write down $600. So I got my AC checked and there may or may not be a problem so that is what that is for i you know i live in arizona it's hot it's sunny the ac is bound to break or be upset with me so we'll see hopefully i don't know that's it that's all i got it's just i hope i hope it's not horrible and i hope that it's okay we have 718 plus 600 and that's just for my just in case 
I don't actually know like the extent of it. That's what I'm trying to, you know, figure out right now. And so if I don't use it, it'll go into my savings. Now I do actually have an emergency fund, but I, I have two emergency funds but I try not to touch them unless I have to and because right now I don't really know what's going on and this is just strictly off of like what if or you know like a possibility of what the issue may be I'd rather just put it aside for my check and not touch stuff that I have saved if it's not enough if you know there's something else then I will cover that once I get there but that's the thing life happens things come up um, you know, things break, things disappear, things stop working, like it's all very much normal. It happens, it happens with just about everything that we own. So I will tell you, you know, I am a zero-based budget. I give every single dollar a job so that I don't spend it. But sometimes, you know, because going into this, I had a plan of, okay, I'm going to put a thousand into save you know my savings challenges but that doesn't always happen and that's okay i promise you that it won't always be perfect and it won't always zero out like you want it to but in the end it does work the system works consistency works and not to mention the system is what gives you the comfort and the stability to be able to start putting money aside when stuff comes up. I always want to be obviously transparent with you guys. Like it's not always perfect. Things don't always go how we plan. And I promise you that it won't be the last time and it's okay. And we will make a plan. We will do the best we can. And then if it doesn't work out, you know, we will try again next paycheck. <laughs> So that is the beauty of it. You just keep going and you keep trying. And if you stay consistent, you know, you'll reach that point where you're debt free. You have an emergency fund. You have comfort. And I promise you, it is the greatest thing you will ever feel in your life. Now, okay, you know, I know there's like other things that are great, but it is really phenomenal feeling. So with that... If you have any questions, drop them down below. I love you guys so, so much. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you too can be part of the Pink Squad. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells so that you know every single time that I post and you can come leave me a beautiful pink flower. So I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Don't forget to tell me what you're doing. Bye, guys.